Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I decorated my home office. I kept it simple like every room in my home. I want to keep it really simple and nice and neat. So let's go ahead and get started. So first we're going to go ahead and start by basically kind of removing everything off the desk and almost everything out the room um, because I need to go ahead and get these shelves up. So right now i'm just measuring the shelves and i actually made these shelves myself i just went to home depot and found some two by fours and i think these were eight feet um and they are about i think four inches wide so i got these from home depot and if i'm not correct i'll just put it down below like everything else and so i'm measuring the wall to see how wide the wall was itself as well and where was I going to place this I'm not really good at math so this took me a while but for you guys it looks really easy and because I didn't have two people there to help me out I decided to go ahead and do it on the floor to see how wide the wall was that I was placing the shelves that's why I was on the ground and then I was kind of taking my phone and writing down the calculations to try to figure out how I wanted these um, shelves to be on the wall how far apart from each side of the wall from them to be um, it's super simple you just got to know the width of your wall and the width of the wood that you're using and how far apart you want each side of the wood to go from I guess and then I'm using a pencil to mark on the wall because I can erase the pencil later so taking a step ladder and I'm going to go in the back and just try to measure and I also measured the desk because the desk is going to be in front of the wall so I want to make sure that you can still see the stuff on the shelves that I'm not blocking it when I'm sitting at the desk so that's what I'm doing just measuring how high I want the first shelf to go then I kind of measured where the second one was going to go so the first one was about like 72 inches high and I think the second one was about 65 or 66 something like that I can't remember how I did it I just kind of eyeballed it and then um, just went from there so now I'm trying to find the studs so in order to do that I got a stud finder so to find the studs you're just gonna take the stud finder and you're just gonna kind of graze it across the um, wall <laughs> really slowly and I'm just gonna mark each time it goes off for the studs and then I'm going to mark it so I can know where the studs are and how far apart I want to put my brackets I guess that's what they're called so um, I only needed two spots but I didn't need them close together so I was just kind of marking to see which one was closer to the edge I needed the wood to stop at I guess that makes any sense at all but you can look for the studs if you kind of bang on the wall and you hear a difference if it sounds more solid then there's a stud if it doesn't then it's not but also you have to make sure you don't hit anything electrical or something like that so that's why stud finder is really really important in this step because you want to make sure all of your shelves are into the stud so that they don't fall later in life so that's all i'm doing here So once I kind of marked everything, I'm just lining up this wood to see, did I like where it was? Is it going to be level? Just kind of marking how high it was. It looks crooked, but I think the camera was actually crooked and it was definitely out of focus, but that's all I'm doing. This step was really unnecessary, but I just like to be as precise as I can because I'm not really good at math. So I was making sure everything was adding up and then I'm going to go and just double check all my markings and once again put the wood up but I got frustrated with the wood because I did stain this wood I forgot to mention that the stain I used was the I think it's called espresso stain because it matches all the furniture downstairs it kept staining like scratching my wall so that's when I just put the wood down and kind of just went with me just kept measuring So now that I found all the studs, it's time to go ahead and screw in all the brackets. So I have my um, drill here that I got from Home Depot as well. And I'm going to take my brackets and I'm putting in the, the drill bit right now. And I'm going to go ahead and take these long screws that I have and go ahead and screw in the brackets. And just using the screws, it's so easy, so simple. I already did my markings. I know how high up these brackets needs to go so that the 
shelf can be on the right level. So if you do your math, you do your markings, everything should turn out just right. I successfully got the first one up so I'm just using the tape measure to mark the second one and it's so bright you guys couldn't even see that the first one is up there but I did get it up um, and I'm doing the second one and then I'll go ahead and put the shelf up So now that I got both of them up, I just put the shelf on and I'm checking to make sure everything is even and I did have to scoot the shelf over a little bit to make sure it was straight. But I'm also checking the levelness of it and I bought this level from Target, it was $5 and it kept saying it was off level so I was just kind of looking. But then once I kind of fixed the shelf a little bit, I put the level back up and it was leveled. I was so happy, you guys can definitely tell from my face because... I've been having some issues with some DIY shelving stuff in this house, but this one was leveled so I was super excited and I was so happy. Happy dance. So now that I got the first one up, I took the shelf down and it's time to do the second one. I just kind of went from the measurements of the first one and then got the second set of brackets up and then I put the shelves up. So this is what the shelves look like, empty, blank. Um, once they got put up, I was super happy and excited how they came out. They were perfect. I did order these brackets from Amazon, so I will leave a link for that below as well. And definitely check out Home Depot to get your wood. Now for the desk, this desk, oh my god, it was a nightmare to put together first off. But also, the color was not the same wood color as all my furniture downstairs. So I decided instead of buying a new desk, for now, I'm just going to cover this desk. I found this like faux wood paper stuff from Amazon and I will leave it down below. And because I want to turn the desk around, I had to cover this exposed panel wood stuff. So I bought this paper from Amazon. I started on the desk, but I ran out. So I reordered some more and I'm going to cover the back of this desk so it can now be the front of the desk and the desk just didn't match none of the wood in my office so I had to definitely cover it up because it was like a more chocolate and everything is more espresso but this paper is super easy to use so all you do is fold it back kind of stick the first like inch or two on whatever surface you're using and you can easily peel this off if you mess up and start over and I'm taking like a credit card or a debit card or any kind of card and just scraping down to get any air bubbles out and it was so easy just peel down scrape 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 peel down scrape 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 and it's easy to cut and just move this paper around so I was really really excited about this purchase and this DIY thing in this office so if you have furniture that you don't like or even a wall that you want to cover I do recommend this brand of paper I will leave it down below for you guys to check out as well So I also had to do the sides. Now, look, don't come for me. I ran out of paper to do the rest of the top and the drawers. So when you do see the finish of this video, you will see the exposed top. That is the same chocolate, original color of the desk. But I was still happy with the way everything turned out. So I will finish the top of the desk later in life. Right now, I was just tired and I got the sides and the bag done. So that's all I was worried about.
now that the desk is finished look how good it is guys it looks so good and it looked like that's how it's supposed to come so i was really really happy on how it came out i'm moving the desk in its place it was so heavy and there was still stuff in there but the desk itself is just heavy moving the chair in place to see if i like the position of the chair with the shelves so i had to move the chair out of its place so that i can start decorating the shelves i did put my shredder underneath the desk that's what you guys saw um, so that when I have to shred papers, I can just shred right there. Um, so I'm bringing all the decor items and placing it on the desk so I don't have to move back and forth into the office and the dining room. So I bought most of this stuff from Target and the rest I already had. And I'm just kind of using some things that I already had. But most of this stuff is from Target or at home. Um, I think maybe two things are from at home and the rest is from Target. But I'm just going to decorate the shelves. I put my degree up top and i'm adding some things that greg had i have to get a copy of his degree and then add it up there as well but i'm just going to go ahead and decorate the shelves as i see fit i didn't really have a plan on what i was going to do i just knew i want this globe up there that was my main focus and then i kind of just put everything else on the shelves as i thought it would look and of course they had to come into an inspection Okay, so this is my favorite part of this room is doing this back wall here. So I bought this like calendar pin board thing from Target. I am obsessed. You can write on it with these like chalk pencils and you can write things into the days and kind of fill it in. So I just used some tacks. I didn't feel like putting any more nails into my wall. So I just used some tacks and I kind of just followed the back of the um of the calendar and put it in and the thing is the wood of the calendar matched perfectly with the shelves so i was just checking to make sure everything was level once it was level i need to put these like pin cushion things up i found these at target as well you can stick um tacks in there to put notes um they they're two-sided so one side is black and one side is like that cork board color and then i just kind of did this little you know up and down up and down kind of pattern i saw it on the package and i thought it was cute and it would be perfect for the office i didn't really want to try to come up with anything different at that point i was tired but i did measure out how far apart i wanted them to go to make sure they were even this level kept me on point it had a measure thing a ruler duh, on the side a measure thing and it helped keep everything in order, but I definitely recommend the calendar and these little cushion pin board things because they give you a cute finessed look, but also they're very functional.
So once I got all of those up, I went ahead and just set the desk and added stuff to the desk, like a candle and a little cube thing to hold paper down and some uh, sticky notes. And then I had to take things out like the ladder and add the chair back. And I did add some like magazines on the desk. I want to make it look really sophisticated, even though this is a he, she office, like me and Greg's office, not just my office. I wanted it to still feel like it was cohesive in our home. So I did add some magazines because I honestly didn't know what else to add to this desk but I felt like the magazines kind of add a special touch to the desk and then I was trying to find a rug that I already had but it turned out I really didn't like this rug and I am going to buy a new rug for the office I'm just not sure what color and what style rug I found this cute little bench from at home and it was only like a hundred dollars and I thought it was perfect it matches the bench under our dining room table everything turned out perfectly I love it so that's it guys that's my home office makeover video i hope you guys like it in person it looks so cute and so i just love it sleek and i did add this cute little basket thing that i did get from at home as well to hang some things but i really love this room it feels like a welcoming space when someone first comes into our home so i hope you guys like this video i hope you know you were inspired to redo one of your rooms in your home and i hope you guys just are enjoying being at home with your family and i can't wait to talk to you guys in my next video bye guys Okay guys, since you guys are already here, don't forget to click and view some of my latest videos and don't forget to click and subscribe. See you guys. Bye.